another video for you with more news stories from Ethiopia and the neighboring countries. A first news story is about some mysterious cargo flights from Turkey to the Horn of Africa. The flights flew from an airport in Turkey which is known for uh, supplying uh, TB2 drones to other countries. Uh, we saw flights uh, from this airport in Turkey to Libya, to Azerbaijan when Turkey gave TB2s to uh, the two countries when war uh, was happening there. Now, we have uh, received some reports uh, from an expert who monitors uh, flight data that two cargo flights have landed uh, in Djibouti within the past 48 hours. A second new story is about Gado under Gacho, Amhara, a leader, prosperity party leader who was uh, removed from his position as National Security Advisor by Ethiopian PM Abi yesterday. Now, a former Ethiopian diplomat today spoke. He spoke against Gado Andragacho, that Gado Andragacho, when he was uh, uh, Minister for Foreign Affairs, uh, he and his supporters uh, allegedly targeted this diplomat. Third new story is about uh, a question which was put to U.S. State Department spokesperson. Is U.S. government planning uh, more sanctions on Eritrea? While uh, it is being said that uh, Eritrean forces shell Shiraro town, what did the U.S. State Department spokesperson say? And lastly, Mr. Tigray is uh, building a police now, a police force. If you remember, a few weeks ago, I reported that Tiria fighters uh, were being made part of Tigray police. Today, it seems that uh, a batch of uh, the Tiria fighters uh, who uh, have become part uh, of uh, police. Uh, the graduation ceremony was held, attended by top Tigray officials. Firstly, words, uh, some mysterious cargo flights are being seen between Turkey and Djibouti. Well, there is an airport in Turkey by the name of Takirdag uh, Korlo Airport. From this airport in the past, TB2 drones were supplied to Libya and to uh, Azerbaijan. And during the course of Tigray conflict, we saw some flights between Takeda Kolo Airport of Turkey and uh, Ethiopian uh, air bases as well. And we know that most experts uh, agree that Turkey provided TB2 drones to Ethiopia as well. And now on uh, Saturday and Friday, Two cargo flights have been seen, which flew from Takirda Karlo Airport, and they landed at uh, an airport in Djibouti. Name of the airport is Djibouti Amboli Airport. Uh, both were cargo flights, and they were flights of Sky Fly Sky Airline, which is a Ukrainian airline. The question is, viewers. What is Turkey supplying to Djibouti? And is Turkey supplying something, some equipment to a country through Djibouti? Last time when Ethiopia acquired weaponry from Turkey, those were mostly direct flights between Turkey and Ethiopia, UE and Ethiopia as well. But now we are seeing these flights. So either Djibouti is buying some defense equipment uh, from Turkey. But we have not seen any such engagement, some discussions that Djibouti is interested in buying Turkish TB2 drones. Though it could happen. Uh, Djibouti could be purchasing uh, drones. But we have not seen any credible information in the past. 
that Djibouti was interested in purchasing Turkish tributary drones. So either these shipments, which could be armed shipments, are meant for Djibouti or some other country is buying drones through Djibouti to hide these transfers, to hide this weapon transfer. We know that two bills are pending with the US House and US Senate. We, and one bill proposes sanctions on the countries which are supplying weapons to parties uh, in Tigray conflict. So there could be an attempt on the part of Ethiopia to purchase weaponry from Turkey through Djibouti to hide these weapon transfers or Djibouti is purchasing these weapons. Could there be error to as well? Could there be uh, Eritrea uh, getting weapons to Eritrea through Djibouti? I don't see it very likely. Uh, I think two likely candidates uh, of uh, these arms shipments, uh, which they seem to be, could be either Ethiopia or Djibouti. We'll follow up on this new story. If you have any reliable information, do share with me. Please. A second new story is uh, from Amhara region. We know that yesterday, Ethiopian PM office fired national security advisor, Gado Andergacho, a top Amhara PP leader who was appointed to this position in November 2020 has been fired. And uh, Ridwan Hussain is now the new national security advisor. Uh, and we know that uh, Gado Nargacho has been speaking in support of Fano. He had some disagreements with the other group of Amhara PP backed by PMRP, the group led by Damaki Mekon. So Gado group uh, is being targeted. Gado was fired from uh, some other positions as well. His security was withdrawn. He could not be re-elected as member of Central Executive Committee of PP as well. A few, day, a few weeks ago in part elections. Now, uh, an Ethiopian, a former Ethiopian diplomat uh, reacted to this action against Gadon Gacho. He seemed to be very happy, very pleased with the removal of uh, uh, Gadon Gacho. His name is uh, Magarsa Boshe. You can see his picture on your screen. Megarsa Boshe says that he worked in Geneva, uh, in other parts of the, in Paris as well, as Ethiopian diplomat. And uh, he had to quit his job. Why? Back then, Gado Andragacho was minister, Ethiopian minister of foreign affairs. And this uh, diplomat was working, obviously, in foreign ministry. And he says that uh, Gado Andergacho and his Fano supporters, they launched a campaign against uh, Magar Saboshi. Why? Magar Saboshi says that he tried to communicate with Ethiopians in more than one languages, Amharic, Romo. Uh, and uh, that was opposed by Gado Andergacho's supporters and himself as well. So that is why he had to quit. He seemed to be from Romeo, it seems. And he is pleased with uh, the removal of Gado under Gajo. Thirdly, the third new story is about Eritrea us relations. Uh, is US planning more uh, sanctions on Eritrean government? This question was put to US State Department spokesperson. The journalist who asked the question said that uh, according to UN internal documents, Eritrean military shelled Shiraro city of Tigray. In the shelling, one 14-year-old girl died. US uh, spokesperson of State Department said that last year, uh, US uh, President Joe Biden signed an executive order 
in the light in the light of the order uh, some actions were taken by us government against eritrea he further said that eritrea was playing a destabilizing role in the horn of africa so eritrea accuses uh, us of uh, waging wars abroad and eritrea is being blamed by us so that it is involved in creating a uh, conflict in the region watch this clip uh, showing uh, reply of uh, us trip was person to a question about eritrea stand africa uh, eritrea eritrean forces shelled a town in north ethiopia over the weekend according to un documents and regional forces killing a 14 year old girl and injuring at least 18 people uh, does the us have a reaction to that and is Washington looking at imposing further sanctions on Eritrea over its role in the conflict. Well, as you know, uh, the president signed an executive order last year that gives us some degree of latitude uh, to hold accountable those who pose uh, a threat to uh, peace and stability in uh, Ethiopia in the Horn of Africa. Uh, we have already uh, exercised a degree of that authority against uh, actors in Eritrea. Uh, they have played a profoundly destabilizing role. Uh, I don't have a comment on uh, that particular uh, operation. If we do, I'll follow up. Um, but uh, we have managed to achieve in close coordination uh, with our partners in the region uh, and uh, the uh, Ethiopian government uh, and um, authorities in Tigray uh, what has been a humanitarian truce. Uh, our goal is to see uh, that truce extended, uh, not only in furtherance of peace and stability, um, but also in furtherance of Uh, expanded humanitarian access uh, for people uh, in Tigray that have been denied it for for far too long. Uh, we would condemn uh, anyone who uh, seeks to uh, undo uh, that progress, uh, and we'll be working together uh, with our partners on the ground uh, to try to preserve that. Uh, yes. Last viewers, in a previous video a few weeks ago, I reported that uh, TDF fighters were being made part of police. Uh, Tigray is in the process of raising police force. Tigray's institutions have been destroyed. Its police became part of TDF. All forces were fighting to defend Tigray last year. Now, gradually, Tigray is rebuilding its institutions, its forces. Today, a ceremony was held, uh, a graduation ceremony of TDF fighters who have been incorporated. in police the tdf fighters are now part of law enforcement force uh, in tigray the ceremony was attended by the bratsen gabriel mikhail tigray president uh, general varede was also there uh, see the situation in some parts of tigray is deteriorating uh, crimes robberies are on the rise uh, tomorrow we'll speak about that because that is why tigray is focusing on rebuilding its law enforcement institutions watch this clip from today's graduation ceremony of tdf fighters who are now part of tigray police the coach tawi salam ta hizbi wa husn mikbar commission police mangist tigray dragum nimtash bemasra zwata اواج قطري سلسن سوسان زبار كلتشحن 10 سبعاتن ازو كوميشن تفلالي مدلاوات كوغن دحري متنح دحرتي ابلعلي تغراي تقايدو قلع ورار